in their respective farewell speeches during their final city council meeting on Friday, Paul Kortz and Mitch O'Farrell both made reference to the protesters who have regularly filled the chamber in recent months. O'Farrell, who represents the 13th district, lost his re-election bid to Hugo Soto Martinez after serving two terms. 5th District Representative Kortz served the maximum three terms before losing the city controller's race to Kenneth Mejia. He will be replaced on the council by Katie Young Yaroslavsky. O'Farrell called out what he saw as an unfortunate place of hate and incivility becoming socially acceptable behavior. That's really sad, O'Farrell said. We see it every day in this chamber. We saw it today. Protesters have regularly shown up at meetings demanding that Kevin DeLeon and Gil Cedillo resign before the city conducts its business. On Friday, DeLeon tried to attend his first meeting in nearly two months, showing up in the middle of the meeting. But he left after protesters began shouting and Council President Paul Krekorian called the recess. I will caution the body politic that it's especially important in this current, toxic, political climate here in Los Angeles that we don't lose sight of the distinction between ideology and public serve. O'Farrell said that unchecked ideology from both the extreme right and left has led to a rise in hate incidents and the spread of disinformation, calling out social media and some in our mainstream media here in Los Angeles. Public service is not a zero-sum game, O'Farrell said. It is a noble and a sacred duty. Koritz was more direct when addressing the protesters, 